Hello guys, this is Philip from uh, Rhino Fan Fabrications, and today we're going to talk about our new R4 ladder 2.0 Stealth. Um, first thing I want to talk about is the reason why we even made a ladder for the RAV4. So when I bought my RAV4 back in 2019, um, there was no aftermarket support whatsoever. And then the first thing I bought was a, a basic Yakima crossbar and roof rack system. With the, with the Yakima Skyrise rooftop tent. And when we took it out, the first thing I noticed was setting it up and tearing it out was a bitch. So before, I would have to shimmy my way up and try to find a way to pull a tarp over. So I thought it'd be so much easier if I just had a ladder and I could just pull it up from the top. So, so we decided to develop this ladder here. And for those that have the uh, soft top rooftop tents, you guys understand it's such a pain sometimes pulling that tarp up. So what I normally do is I'll climb the ladder and I'll literally go on top of the uh, uh, the rooftop tent and and pull the uh, tarp right over. It's so easy for those that have our ladders and and a soft top tent. I'm sure you guys experienced that and how much easier it is with the ladder. Now with the hard shell tent. We don't necessarily need to go on top of the tent to, to uh, do the proper teardown, but it's still super handy setting up the poles and pulling down the straps using the ladder. Another thing new for the ladder for the 2.0 is we're using a slip resistant uh, paint. So super durable and when you're climbing it, when it's wet or when it's raining, it, it gives you a nice good grip. So you don't have to worry about slippage. And also we've noticed in terms of scratching, it's so much more durable than our previous design. So another another thing that I want to point out is it is a tad lighter from the previous one. Now because you're putting weight on the rear hatch, you don't want to put too much weight because you go for a lot of stress on the struts. So it, it, the old one was 19 pounds. And now it's 13 pounds, which is phenomenal uh, weight savings. And you definitely notice when it moves up and down, it's a lot smoother. And that way, if you make the ladder a little bit lighter, you can add a little bit more accessories and not worry about your, your gas struts um, overworking itself. So another thing I want to point out is a lot of folks are wondering, why is it sticking out so much? So for, for this new design, we did bring it in. A little bit closer to the actual tailgate. Well, the reason we have a gap here is if you put this too close to the, the rear, when you put your foot there, you're not going to be touching the paint. And chances are, when you're using the ladder, you're going to be wearing some sort of hiking shoes or muddy shoes. Or whatever the case is, you don't want to scratch up the paint when you're climbing up. So this, get, even if you have large feet, you got tons of space so you don't hit the actual vehicle. So when we go out camping or just road trips in general, some things that we carry on the ladder is our shovel because a shovel goes a long way when you're camping or, or whatever the case is. It's always good to have a shovel. We just use these straps here and strap it on right there. Nice and easy. And then when we're camping for a couple of days, Extra water is always handy. Uh, we made this ourselves, but you can easily buy this on Amazon uh, for like $30. That's Canadian dollars, by the way. Um, and super easy. Now, we have this spout system. So what we use this for, just washing your hands, and it's all hooked up, ready to go. So super simple. And that's the basic walk around of the new R4 2.0 Stealth Ladder. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.